I'm Jeff Butler with the Butler Law Firm. If you're thinking about whether to hire a lawyer for your car accident case, you need to know about the tricks that insurance companies use when people decide to go ahead alone. Today we'll talk about them. In a previous video we talked about tricks 1 through 5 and today we'll talk about tricks 6 through 10. Number 6, delay and wear you down. Insurance companies know that if you've been hurt in a car accident, you're dealing with a lot of pain. You're having to go back and forth to medical appointments. You may be missing work. Bills are stacking up. You're probably getting new bills from the hospital, the ambulance, the orthopedic doctor, the physical therapist, and everybody else. They know that if they can wait long enough, things will get worse. And eventually they hope you'll get desperate. And that's when they'll send you a lowball offer. Keep asking for more information. This is a common trick. An insurance company will say, oh sure, we'd like to help you, but we just need more information about this. Or we just need documentation of that. Or we just need medical records from this person. Or medical records from this hospital that you visited five years ago. The list goes on and on and on. And as soon as you provide one thing, well then, it's something else that they need. And the reason is that every time they make a new request and make you go chase down additional documentation, they wear you down a little bit more and they delay just a little bit longer. Number eight, claim a lawyer will just drag it out. Now, no insurance company wants you to hire a lawyer because they know that if you do, they're probably gonna have to pay more money. So they'll do and say, just about anything to keep you from doing that. And one of them is claiming that lawyers will drag it out, but think about that. Personal injury law firms like ours get paid only when you do. Our fee, what we get paid, is only a percentage of what we recover for you, if anything. We don't get paid until you do. We are in the same boat. No personal injury lawyer has any incentive or any reason to drag it out, no more than you do. This is just something insurance companies say to keep you from hiring a lawyer. Number nine, the quote causation end quote defense. Insurance companies look for any reason they can find to pay you little or nothing. And one of them is they like to claim that the injuries you have didn't actually come from this car accident. They'll say, oh yeah, sure. Um, the other driver may have caused this collision and, and you may be hurt, but we think you were already hurt before this. This is an especially common tactic in car accident cases where someone has injuries to their neck, their back, or their lower back. Insurance companies will go back through old medical records or old workers' compensation claims or anything they can find and try to say that you were already hurt before this collision even happened. Therefore, the collision didn't hurt you, and therefore, they shouldn't have to pay you much money, if any. Number 10, spy on you. Sometimes people don't think this happens, but I promise you it does. I've seen it. I've had clients whose own insurance companies were spying on them. Clients where the other person's insurance company was spying on them. What they'll do is they'll hire a private investigator to follow you around with a video camera. And they'll sit in their car outside your driveway, might follow you to the store and back, and what they hope to get is some little 10 second video snippet where you're getting in or out of the car, or you're picking something up, or you're taking out your trash. And they'll look at that little snippet and say, oh look, it doesn't look like you're really hurt. Therefore, we shouldn't have to pay you money. 